Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a scatter plot for a multiple linear regression equation or linear regression model that you might be creating. So we, what we have here are three variables that we want to try um, and utilize in a regression model. Um, we have grad GPA, which is what we want to try and predict, so your grade point average in graduate school. Um, and then our two predictors are going to be a GRE score or graduate record exam score and then the grade point average in high school. And so we're going to use, want to use these two variables um, to predict graduate school GPA. Um, and one of the things that helps us visualize uh, how this model is working and, and to what degree it is explaining the dependent variable or the outcome, we can create a scatter plot. And so one of the things we can do is create individual scatter plots for each relationship. So take one of the independent variables and create a scatter plot for its prediction of one of the dependent variables. But in this case, we want to combine the two because we're doing multiple linear regression, so we have two predictor variables. And our ability to kind of visualize that is what we're going to create with this um, multiple regression uh, scatter plot. So what I've done is I've done a couple, I've done some basic bivariate Pearson correlations between the variables, um, and also did uh, scatter plots for the basic relationship between the individual variables. Um, and so you can see here on this output, um, all three variables are related to one another um, at a statistically significant level. So we know there is a relationship between high school GPA, GRE, and grad GPA. And so what you'll see in this first scatter plot, along with the line of best fit, is the relationship, the linear regression relationship between high school GPA and grad GPA. And we can see that there's a more or less linear relationship here. There's a fair amount of spread, and the R squared value for this uh, regression uh, relationship is 0.43. So high school GPA explains about 43, close to 44% of the variance in grad GPA. So by itself, it does an okay job. It has a moderate um, ability to explain the variance. And now we look at the other um, predictor we have, which is GRE score uh, with grad GPA. And again, we can see uh, a fairly you know decent relationship there again a fair amount of variance around that line of best fit and we can see that relationship explains about 34 percent uh, close to 35 percent of the variance in grad GPA um, is explained by GRE score so each of those two predictors individually does an okay job of predicting grad GPA but when we combine them into a multiple regression um, we're able to then kind of compound the amount of variance the two predictors can explain together. And so it, it's kind of tough to visualize that looking at each of these individually, but what I'm going to show you is a, a pretty easy technique to combine these two scatter plots basically and create now this multiple regression scatter plot that shows the effect of GRE and high school GPA on grad GPA. So let me show you how that works, and it's a fairly simple process. So we're going to go to the Analyze menu. We're going to choose our regression, uh, and we're going to choose linear regression. Um, we're going to uh, click Save, and we want to, under the Predicted Values box, we want to click Unstandardized, and then we want to click Continue. And then we want to move our dependent variable into the dependent variables box, so in this case it's grad GPA, and then move our two uh, predictor variables into the independence box, uh, and then we click OK. Um, and so what we can see if we go back to our data view here is we've created a new variable, uh, PRE, predicted value number one. And so what we've done is we've used the regression equation to figure out what the predicted value would be using that regression equation, and then we're going to use um, that variable along with the outcome variable, grad GPA, to com complete, complete this kind of combined scatter plot. Um, and so now we go to the graph menu, uh, legacy dollars, and we're going to create this scatter plot, um, simple scatter, fine, and then we want to move our uh, grad GPA is the x-axis variable, and then our unstandardized prediction is our y-axis variable. We click OK. Um, we've got this scatter plot. We can double-click on it, 
and ask for the uh, line of best fit. And we can uh, take that regression model label off of there. And so now we will see our new combined scatter plot showing that regression relationship between our two predictor variables and our outcome. And you can see here now we have an R squared value of 0.62, whereas before the two individual scatter plots were 0.43 and 0.3 something, I believe. And so now we can see the combined R squared or the combined explained variance um, of grad GPA for that regression model. And you can see also the dots are much tighter in collection around that line of best fit. So there's a lot less variance now. And this is, of course, reflected in the fact that we have a, a much higher um, R squared value than we did with each of our predictor variables individually. So this is how we can create a scatter plot to visualize that multiple regression model, um, as well as how we can visualize the R squared and that line of best fit um, in relation to predicting an outcome using two or more predictor variables. So hopefully you learned something in this video uh, and good luck using this in your own research.